discussed this week's debate between Vice President Joe Biden and Congressman Paul Ryan. And at one point, we heard one of them talk about a particular family in Massachusetts. Turns out that family has quite a story to tell. Here's Taisha Fernandez with our Fox affiliate WFXT in Boston. Sitting inside the same Northboro home, Mitt Romney and his family visited 17 years ago. The Nixon family watched the vice presidential debate and were shocked to hear their names on this national stage. Cheryl and Mark Nixon. Their kids were hit in a car crash. Four of them, two of them, Rob and Reed, were paralyzed. The Romneys didn't know them. They went to the same church they never met before. Mitt asked if he could come over on Christmas. He brought his boys, his wife, and gifts. Electronics for myself and my brother Rob, and it was amazing. They stayed for a couple hours setting it up and spent time. There were no cameras, no reporters. The only picture we took was a picture that uh, of our families together. The Nixon family needed some joy on that Christmas Eve in 1995. It was less than a year after that horrible accident that paralyzed the two boys. The family was leaving a church meeting when they crashed that day. The same Mormon church the Romney family belongs to, but a different branch. When the Romneys traveled more than an hour to spend a precious holiday with strangers at the time, the Nixons felt some happiness after feeling so broken. You think about it, um, they could have done it any time of the year, but they did it on Christmas Eve. And that wasn't it. The Republican VP candidate tells the rest of the story. Later on, he said, I know you're struggling, Mark. Don't worry about their college. I'll pay for it. They basically, Anne and Mitt, gave us a blank check. They didn't end up using that check because Reed got a finance degree from Bentley University, where his father works, and Rob went to Brigham Young on a scholarship. Regardless, though, the Nixons see it as an incredible gesture they will never forget. As far as he knew, he was offering, which is very generous and amazing that he was willing to do that. These are things that they do as a family that uh, is not done for political reasons or to get gain in other people's eyes. It's just because they cared. And that was Taisha Fernandez of WFXT in Boston reporting.